learners welcome back to my channel maths made easy with ab today is the continuation lecture of transformation of the graph in the earlier lecture we have seen how to transform the graph y is equal to fx to y is equal to fx plus minus c we have also seen the transformation of y is equal to fx to y is equal to f of x plus minus c we have also seen y is equal to a fx and y is equal to a not a f of ax so these were the four transformations which we had seen in the earlier lecture a is greater than 0 so basically this was shifting along the y axis this was shifting along the x axis this was like expanding and then reducing the graph so so the, the, these were the four types of transformations we had seen in the earlier lecture in today's lecture we will be carrying on with the transformation and we'll be seeing some of the important transformations of graph so the first one that we want to see is y is equal to fx y is equal to fx transformed into y is equal to f of minus x y is equal to f of minus x which means what i'll take quickly take an example and show what we are trying to do with this say for example somebody has asked you to draw the graph of y is equal to e to the power of minus x somebody has asked you to draw the graph of y is equal to e to the power of minus x now students you must have already seen in my earlier lectures if you are following my lecture on play with graph the graph of y is equal to e to the power of x what is the graph of y is equal to e to the power of x students so this is the graph of y is equal to e to the power of x this cuts at how much 0 comma 1 we had seen y is equal to a to the power of x e is basically a part of a yeah the value of e is uh, euler's number 2.71 yeah so now we are trying to plot y is equal to e to the power of minus x so remember if somebody has asked you to transform y is equal to fx to y is equal to f of minus x which is this case yeah this is y is equal to fx this is y is equal to f of minus x in that case what you have to do is this is x axis this is y axis you will have to take the mirror image the mirror image of the graph of the graph about y axis mirror image this will be mirror image about y axis and both side mirror yeah so this part will go this side this part will go this side so somewhat like this will be the mirror image of this graph so this will be the graph of y is equal to e to the power of minus x the red line is the graph of y is equal to e to the power of minus x it cuts it at this point so basically this is the point of intersection of y is equal to e to the power of minus x and y is equal to e to the power of x and you all know students that this area this area or this area this area is how much equal to 1 we have already seen this okay so now let us see one more example say for example somebody has asked you so i'll just omit this part so we are seeing the transformation of y is equal to fx transform to y is equal to f of minus x say for example somebody has asked you to the graph the graph of y is equal to ln of minus x students remember when i write ln ln is nothing but ln x is nothing but log x with base e so don't get confused if you find ln x ln x is nothing but log x whose base is e in class 10 remember if once you are in class 11 12 when you get a term log x always know if nothing is written the base is e which in class 10 used to be opposite if class 10 used to get log x you used to assume that the base is 10 but since now you are in class 11 12 always remember if nothing is mentioned then it is always ln x or log x base e so this important concept you have to keep in mind so nonetheless this was just one thing i wanted to say you have been asked to draw the graph of y is equal to ln x or or log minus x sorry minus x base e ln minus x or log minus x base e so this is the same thing so you have been asked to draw the graph so what you have to do is what is y is equal to fx over here y is equal to fx is nothing but y is equal to ln x or log x base e 
you know already the graph of y is equal to log x students we have done this in previous lecture right we have done this in previous lecture so y is equal to ln x basically this is y is equal to ln x graph this area is one we had studied that in previous class so this is y is equal to ln x now y is equal to ln minus x what will happen this line y axis i already said if you want to do this transformation y axis is the mirror y axis is the mirror so this is this side so this will become this side so basically this this is minus x this is y is equal to ln of minus x this graph will become the mirror image of y axis and this will go this way so this is the graph of and the transformation y is equal to fx transformed to y is equal to f of minus x simply what you have to do is you have to think y as you have to think y axis as the mirror and you have to reflect the graph uh, graph across it yeah i think this is clear to you we will be moving into the next transformation of today so which is basically you must be guessing we have already seen y is equal to log x we have seen y is equal to log x transformed to y is equal to log of minus x so we saw y is equal to fx transformed to y is equal to f of minus x now we will see y is equal to fx transformed to y is equal to minus fx students minus fx so this is again very simple in this case in this case x axis in this case x axis becomes the mirror in this case x axis becomes the mirror in the earlier case which was y is equal to fx transformed to y is equal to f of minus x y axis was the mirror but in case y is equal to fx transformed to y is equal to minus fx here students x axis becomes the mirror let us see a simple example say for example somebody has asked you to draw the graph of y is equal to e to the power of x minus in front i'll just write it properly y is equal to minus e to the power of x students understand the difference between y is equal to x so i'll just give it over here so y is equal to e to the power of x is the y is equal to fx part and this is y is equal to minus ex so basically minus fx earlier it was y is equal to e to the power of minus x there x was being replaced by minus x so hopefully you are understanding the difference between the two yeah so here the graph is this so i am just differentiating it with black and red color hope you are understanding why i have marked it with two colors yeah so now students y is equal to e to the power of x graph several times now we have already done this is x axis y axis so this is the graph of y is equal to e to the power of x so what will be the graph of minus e to the power of x simply x axis will act as the mirror so this graph will be of y is equal to minus e to the power of x this is the graph of y is equal to minus e to the power of x where x forms the mirror now let us take another example now let us take another example so the another example is of log only let's take of log so say for example somebody has asked you y is equal to log x basically you already know this is being asked to transform to y is equal to minus log x base e so what will be the graph this is also very simple now y is equal to log x graph you guys already know so this is the graph this is 1 comma 0 y is equal to log x base e i think this is clear to you all now you have to find y is equal to minus log x base e simply x axis will become the mirror so the graph will be like this so this is the graph of y is equal to minus log x base e i think this is very clear to you all this area also i have taught this small area or this small area both are one one each this is one this is one so you must know this already taught in previous lecture indefinite integrals this is very helpful in solving yeah so i think this you are clear with this right now so these were two transformations that we saw we will be quickly moving into the next very important transformation although we have seen it in modulus classes 
uh, if you have not watched my modulus series i will request you to go back to the modulus series and watch there are six videos which are very important for your joint entrance examination so now the question is y is equal to fx being transformed to y is equal to mod fx y is equal to mod fx this is very simple say for example somebody has asked you y is equal to ln x to transform to y is equal to y is equal to mod of ln x so basically what you have to do over here is so you draw the graph of y is equal to log x draw the graph of y is equal to log x so this is the graph of y is equal to ln x right this point is 1 comma 0 this is the x axis and this is the y axis students so now what you have to do is here you have to for transforming a graph y is equal to fx to y is equal to mod fx what you have to do is you have to see what which part of the graph lies below the x axis so this is the graph that lies below x axis you have to simply take the mirror image you have to simply take the mirror image of this part on the x axis and pull it above the x axis right because mod gives always positive value so nothing can lie in the negative y side that's the reason why everything is being pulled to the positive side. this was positive this part was fetching you positive value but this part was fetching you negative value right this part was fetching you negative value to make it positive simply we have to take the mirror image of this part and pull it towards the positive part. this will not get cut y axis this will become the asymptote so yeah this is y is equal to ln x students and this part goes away so this is the graph of y is equal to mod ln x this was y is equal to ln x now this compiled is the graph of y is equal to mod ln x i think this is very much clear to you all yeah so this is the graph of y is equal to mod ln x now i'll take a simple example i'll take a simple example you all know what is the graph of y is equal to x right you all know what is the graph of y is equal to x so the graph of y is equal, you have already learned that in straight line so this is the graph of y is equal to x x axis y axis this is y is equal to x fx say some uh, sorry not mod y is equal to x somebody is asking you to draw the graph of y is equal to mod x so what you will do is y is equal to mod x omit this part this part will go away this part will go away and take the mirror image of this part hence y is equal to mod x looks like this this is the graph of y is equal to mod x right this is the graph of y is equal to mod x i think this transformation was very simple and is very clear to you all right so now you all must be clear by the three transformations we saw what's next so what's next we did mod fx now we will see y is equal to f of mod x f of mod x so mod goes inside say for example y is equal so what do i mean by this if y is equal to fx is x square plus x plus 1 so now we have been asked to draw a graph of y is equal to mod x square plus mod x plus 1 yeah not seeing this graph right now but i'm teaching you the logic so what it means by mod so let us see a simple example how we can transform this so i'll teach you the concept first so basically what you have to do is so say for example this is the x-axis this is the y-axis students very useful and very important you must note it down somewhere you must note it down somewhere say this is the line y is equal to x minus 1 yeah this is the line x minus 1 because when x is 0 students y is minus 1 so this point is 0 comma minus 1 when x is 0 when y is 0 students x is 1 so this point is 1 comma 0 so this is the graph of y is equal to x minus 1 say this is fx say this is fx and now somebody is asking you to draw the graph of somebody has asked you to draw the graph of fx is equal to mod x minus 1 so somebody has asked you to draw this what will you do what will you do remember now remember what will happen to this graph in this kind of transformation you will have to look at the part which is in the negative side of x-axis means this side this is negative part of x-axis this side simply omit this graph simply omit this part and take and take a mirror image of the line that is in the positive x part about the y-axis about the y-axis this line 
So this becomes this graph that you're seeing is the graph of y is equal to fx is equal to mod x minus 1. y is equal to mod x minus 1. I think this is very clear to you all. If it is not clear, so I'm just telling you this was the line y is equal to x minus 1. Omit the part that is in the negative side of x axis negative side of x-axis and take the mirror image of the part that was in the positive x-axis about the y-axis. Yeah, I think this is now uh, making some sense to you all, right? So understand the part of fx that was lying leftward of y-axis, that was lying leftward of y-axis is omitted, if it exists actually. If it doesn't exist, no worries, yeah? So students, uh, the, these were the four transformations that we learned today. These were the four transformations, basically y is equal to, we saw transformation of y is equal to fx to y is equal to f of minus x, right? We saw transformation of y is equal to fx to y is equal to minus fx. We saw the transformation of y is equal to fx to y is equal to mod fx and we saw to y is equal to f of mod x. So in all, I think we must have done eight, nine transformations, the major transformations till now. And this must be very clear to you all. So now in the next video that I make, we have also seen how to plot y is equal to max of some function f1, f2 or min of f1, f2. In the next, in the next class, in the next video, we will be seeing some example, two, three examples of how to use these transformation values or transformation theorems and to plot a graph. If you like the video, guys, do subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments, you can, uh, if you have any doubts, you can go to the comment section and post your queries. Thank you so much for watching.